Thomas and Percy are good friends. They love pulling coaches and freight cars. One day, Thomas and Percy arrived at the seaside. They noticed a barge ahead. Bolstrode was upset because he missed being in the water. I wish I was back in the water again, said Bolstrode. So I can haul cargo and not be rude to the other engines. Don't worry, Bolstrode, said Thomas. We'll bring you back to the water. We're going to tell the big engines about it. How are you going to do that? asked Bolstrode. We'll see, laughed Percy. Later, Thomas and Percy were going to talk to Gordon and James and told them what they have seen. Gordon and James were very happy. You saw a barge on the seaside today, didn't you? Asked Gordon. Yes, agreed Thomas. I'll be glad to find the barge on the beach. You did, laughed James. Unbelievable, Thomas. That means you two are really useful engines. Later, Thomas and Percy arrived at the shunting yard. They saw the low loader. We can carry Bolstrode, said Percy. So Thomas was coupled up to the low loader and he set off to the beach. Soon Thomas arrived at the beach. Am I ready to go back to the dock? asked Bolstrode. Yes, said Thomas. I'll take you there, Bolstrode. Soon Bolstrode was loaded. And Thomas took Bolstrode to Brandon Docks. Bolstrode was having a wonderful ride. He told Thomas all about what had happened the last time Percy met Bolstrode. At last, Bolstrode was back in the water. Welcome to our team, Bolstrode, Cranky declared. It feels good to be back in the water, said Bolstrode happily. Even Sir Topham Hatt was pleased. Well done, said Sir Topham Hatt. You found the barge on the beach, and you brought him back to the dock so he can make important deliveries across the land. Thank you, sir, said Thomas. That evening, Thomas and Percy exchanged all their news. So you took Bolstrode back to Brandon Dock, said Percy. I remember him. I've pushed the freight cars way on top of him. Well, said Thomas, it's a day for surprises today, Percy. So tomorrow, Bolstrode will bring special cargo for us. So Thomas and Percy chatted about special attractions all day.